So in this example, we have one of these physics trolleys, and there's a piece of string attached to one end. This then goes over a pulley and is attached to a constant weight. Now what that means is there's going to be a constant force causing this to get faster. Now we've always got to consider what the start point is going to be. So we'll say that the start point is when the piece of string is just being held over the edge of the bench and nothing is moving. So that's going to be the start point. The end point is going to be when the weight actually hits the floor. So it starts up high, it drops down until it reaches the floor. And when it hits the floor, that's going to be the end point. Now at the beginning, when nothing's moving, all of the energy is stored in the gravitational potential energy store of the weight. And once we let it go, the trolley gets quicker and quicker until that weight hits the floor. And so at the very end, all of the energy is stored in the kinetic energy store. And we're going to assume here there's no losses to the surroundings, so no heating effect at all. And what's the transfer process? Well, again, what we have is a force acting over a distance in order to get this uh, weight to accelerate towards the ground. And therefore, we once again have a mechanical transfer. Now, for the next example, uh, we're going to be look at the energy transfers and stores when a vehicle is slowing down. The vehicle in question is a mountain bike. I'll see you in a minute. 